Worth waiting for. Two, one. Rowan got a good start. We have been before the whistle, but the ref let it carry on. I'd say in the lead. First to hit the button will retract their opponent's climbing pegs. Nightshade's got it, and Rowan's pollaxed. During practice, Lisa got about six feet up the pole and then froze. Everyone had advice. But at the end of the day, it took climbing expert Brian Hall ten minutes to talk her down. We're not sure how she's going to perform this evening. I already, you know, talked myself out of it, yeah. And I just said, how about your pint? <laughs> and I did it. So then I went up again and up again. I think, you know, I think, yeah, right. It'll be all right on the night. Will it be all right on the night? We're just about to see. It's two heptathletes together. Who will be the winner? Neck and neck at the moment. Nightshade moving more smoothly now. It's to the button. Lisa didn't get a chance to freeze. Her struts were retracted and she has been poleaxed. Gonna need some fast footsteps now. Up, up and away, and the first to the top is last to drop. Both climbing well, and Hunter looks to be the faster of the two. It's the Matlin Richard Polax. Look at that drop. And Hunter enjoying himself.